how sweet. The brother comes home for Christmas and the sister makes some coffee and then, oh, oh no. No, 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 no. I am going to create a Christmas commercial that is so incestuous. <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you're having a marvelous time eating delicious food, opening presents, answering uncomfortably personal questions from distant relatives. And I want to preemptively apologize because I'm about to ruin it. My younger viewers may not know what this is, in which case you're about to find out. And I feel like I'm gonna trigger a mass memory resurgence for everyone who was around for it. In 2009, Folgers released a commercial called Home for the Holidays, in which a brother and sister come together for Christmas and make coffee together. It sounds about as wholesome as home milk creamer. It's sweet, it encapsulates the whole spirit of the holidays with family reuniting, but... There was something a little off about the commercial. I'm just gonna let you watch it. It's a minute long. I'm not sponsored by Folgers Coffee, by the way, but um, free advertising if they want it, if they want to be associated with this even more than they already are. Okay, just, just watch it. I must have the wrong house. Sister. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. They waited up all night for you, you know. It's a long way from West Africa. Oh, real coffee. I brought you something from far away. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're my present this year. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. You know, prior to my mom's current K-drama phase, she was really into Hallmark movies, and I sat down and watched enough of them passively with her to kind of sniff out a very similar vibe between this commercial and those movies. Like, I've read enough fanfic to picture the tags popping up as I'm re-watching this commercial now. This does not feel like a nice brother-sister moment. Something very charged is going on. And it wasn't just the people who were trope savvy picking up on this weird tension. From the get-go, people were like, yo, what's going on with the Folgers Coffee Christmas commercial? What's even better is that this commercial is a remake of the 1986 ad, Peter Comes Home for Christmas, which was just a very nice heartwarming Christmas commercial. No hide nor hair of sweet home Alabama. I love how one of the top comments is, yeah, this version makes a lot more sense than the creepy new one. In the original, the younger sister is actually played by a little girl and together they make the coffee that brings the whole family down and then they open presents together by the Christmas tree. It's super fuzzy and schmaltzy. In the remake, the brother and sister are presumably a lot closer in age and the commercial focuses a lot more on them in the kitchen, making coffee together, staring into each other's eyes. There was just a loss of translation somewhere between the first rendition and the second. <laughs> It just isn't Christmas until I see these two siblings gay seductively. No! I have a feeling that everyone who was ever involved in this commercial's production were the only child in their family and had no idea that this isn't how siblings interact. The consistent close-ups with the brother and sister are made even more awkward when it cuts to a wider angle when the parents arrive, really frames it like the parents interrupted an intimate moment. And why does the mother wake up so sensually? 10 out of 10 ad. It's not officially the Christmas season until I watch the coffee incest commercial. Man, I wish my girl looked at me the way that sister looked at her brother. They could have avoided the weird sexual tension by not having them constantly giving each other goo goo eyes. As someone who grew up watching Star Wars, I see nothing Ooh. wrong with this. Man, romance movie couples wish they have half the chemistry these two siblings have. To me, the weirdest thing about this commercial is the way she just awkwardly says sister at the beginning. Like, is she an anime character? Why did she just announce the relationship to him like he's not aware of it? What tickles me personally is the lore of this commercial. The brother joins the Peace Corps, goes to West Africa, you know, one of the biggest coffee producers in the world. And then he goes, finally, some real coffee. <laughs> Peace Corps guy, first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is have a home-cooked meal with my family. What about you? Folgers guy, IDK, probably have some real coffee and then blow my sister. My favorite thing the internet has ever done was write fanfic for this 13-year-old coffee commercial. Oh, you're my present this year. This description from Commercial Sins. Oh, how sweet. The brother comes home for Christmas and the sister makes some coffee and then, oh, oh no. 
no, 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 no. This commercial was parodied to high heaven and that extended to the fan fiction as well. In the Folgers Home for the Holidays commercial category on AO3, there are currently 91 works. That's more than a lot of rare pairs out there. <laughs> oh God, would this be considered a rare pair? The brother and sister pairing from this commercial is referred to as Folger Cest or Folger Cest. Now, a lot of the fix aren't actually for the brother and sister from the Folgers commercial. It's more so used as an AU where you can plug in other sibling ships. A Folgers Home for the Holidays crossover fic. Okay, this premise is actually pretty clever. Actor AU where the characters are not siblings but play siblings while secretly pining for one another. Said pining seeps heavily into their performance. The oldest fanfic was published on December 14th, 2011. Character death? Oh no, which one of them died? Reading through some of these is an experience. <laughs> Oh my god, there's pod fix for it. Popular tropes for the fix about the brother-sister pair include The reason the brother joined the Peace Corps was to get as far away from home as possible, trying to outrun his incestuous feelings. The box contains a wedding ring, and our boy's about to propose! Jabs at the idea that Folgers is real coffee. When something's strange, make a fig out of it. It's just so ridiculous, you have to laugh, you know? I am going to create a Christmas commercial that is so incestuous. This description on the Wikipedia is killing me. In the commercial, a brother and sister reunite for the holidays and proceed to have eye sex with each other. It apparently was very, very unintentional, but... It, it, really? <laughs> but something about the meaningful looks exchanged between the siblings and their oddly uncomfortable repartee has caused it to be remembered as the Folgers incest commercial. I just get a hoot out of it every time I remember it exists. Like, they really f***ed up that bad, huh? <laughs> that Incesty Folgers commercial has more fanfics than some of my rare OTPs. Retweet if your rare pair has less fix than the Folgers incest commercial. Another Christmas season with no one to roleplay the Folgers incest commercial. <laughs> this pretty much sums up how I feel about the whole Folgers commercial thing. In addition to fanfics, there's also fan art, fan edits, plenty of Game of Thrones content, what in the Targaryen? And memes, of course. The funniest thing to me about the Folgers incest commercial is that those two characters absolutely did not have to be siblings. The ad would have worked just as well if they were in a long distance relationship and he came home. Instead, Folgers Corporate saw two actors dripping with the most insane carnal sexual heat chemistry in the history of visual media and said, yep, looks like an average brother and sister duo to me. And that's what Christmas is about, Charlie Brown. This commercial stopped airing in 2012, which means it's been 10 years since our TVs have been blessed by it. But my present to you this year, dear viewer, is that now you know about the small and mighty Folgers home for the holidays commercial fandom and remember you're my present this year. Tis the season happy holidays hope you got a kick out of that and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>